All I want is the free to play guy who spent nearly two hours of his life in order to squeeze out additional dream fragments to get the last shot of OD to max his OD from Mythic to Mythic Plus and welcome to today's AFK journey video. So if you guys are like, what the hell did he spoke just now? Basically, I streamed my free to play content push earlier on the channel. I actually uh, public the video so you guys can go and visit it and see the hilarious moments in the stream. It was really fun by the way because it's been quite a while since I did like a impromptu content push kind of stream so first of all <laughs> my od on my z boss free to play account finally reached supreme it was really an arduous journey because like it took so long because my gacha luck with him was just terrible like it even got torrent to supreme plus before only got to supreme plus can you guys like see the the, <laughs> the ultimate um taunt over here like my my tank got to supreme plus first and it's an oh. s level character so uh this unit od right he's actually one of my favorite if not the favorite unit in the game uh desert defender because he's i'll say like the second unit i got to supreme plus on my very first account and this unit used to be even more broken in the earlier days of the ptr testing so right now he he got nerfed a little bit but i'm gonna talk about the history slightly later but this unit is still one of if not like one of the true t0 carries in the game so i'm gonna talk about why so just a showcase for my od over here so we have uh, od at ex4 unfortunately i didn't prepare enough title essence to get to ex5 so this is my for my free to play account and let's talk about the kit why this unit is actually the true t0 character so if you take a look at the ultimate corrosive dart fires a corrosive dart dealing 150% damage and that poison to an enemy. So the poison target will receive 30% damage per second until defeated and the dark poison cannot be dispelled. So it's like a continuously ticking DOT over time and your enemy cannot dispel it. So the faster you throw it out on a single target, especially the boss, the longer this dark poison will cycle and the more damage it will do. And obviously because OD is a magical attacker, right? This damage also will be buffed by magical defense down so units like cassidy units like iron they benefit from more damage when you get this uh, skill in as well as when magic uh, defense debuff is the applied okay so next one level two only gain 600 energy when a poison enemy is defeated but only 200 energy if the enemy is a summon unit so this is another important part of this skill because this when you combine it with all his uh, different kit right like all his skills all together makes od a complete package as to why he is a t0 carry so i'll combine all the skills later on and explain why this unit is really really broken or rather why this unit need to be answered for why you have to actually answer to this unit because in the late game everybody will have him and he will be a destroyer if your team has no answer to this unit so next one increase in level increases the initial burst of damage so okay that's that's pretty much it for this skill this skill is an insanely good single target damage over time skill and this skill is actually the skill that makes od an insanely good uh, dream realm unit because the overall damage over 90 seconds that this skill can apply is just insane so that's why od is frequently seen in some of the top t0 meta teams for you to push for top ranks in dream realm itself so od is also a pretty decent early to mid gamer because if you take a look at the second and third skill right so second skill is triple tap he deals 60 percent damage to an enemy three times these attack from this skill are considered normal attack so increase in this deals up to 70 percent damage so times three that's 210 which is a pretty decent like new normal attack skill but the next skill right venom search launches normal attack to a nearest poison target in priority if the normal attack hits a poison enemy the base damage of the target's dark poison is increased permanently by 25 percent up to 20 stacks okay so if you guys look at this okay the second level increases the range of the normal attacks and its ultimate to seven tiles making this unit effectively a 12 range archer insanely good so you pretty much can position him anywhere and his skill can hit nearly anyone depending on the map itself so positioning flexibility is one thing that od can offer and on top of that right for the increase in level increases the dark poison's basic damage to 29 percent okay so if the normal attack hits a poison enemy the base damage of the dark poison which is damage over time is increased by 25 percent up to 20 stacks okay and this skill right is a skill that launches his normal attack to the nearby poison target in priority so the longer the battle drags out the higher the dot and the longer the duration of the dot set in the more damage this unit does over time yeah so that's why he's a good boss unit because his damage increases with time 
And then we take a look at the hero focus. This hero focus increases his attack speed. Personally, I think it will be better if they give him more attack percentage. I'll explain why later on. But attack speed is also pretty decent for Archer because this allows him to burst down poison targets as soon as possible. Now we come to the star of this unit's kit, which is Heart Crusher. OD immediately defeats poison enemies when their HP falls below a certain limit, which is equal to 5.2 times of the base damage dealt by that poison per second so it's the base damage uh, there's no like multiplier right so because the second skill has a little bit of damage increase so these are only factors in the base damage so this skill right each time a poison enemy is defeated the limit is increased by 0.5 times of the base damage dealt by that poison per second up to two times so it can go up to a 6.2 time at level zero so if you do increase the skill level all the way to ex four right you get 600 initial energy so he starts the battle with a very filled bar and he can unleash his ultimate asap and then if you defeat the enemy two times the base damage of this skill or the insta q range of this skill is increased to 7.2 times which is insane right and you go into supreme plus when triple type hits a poison target is damage increased by 1.5 times the dark poison damage dealt per second so even more damage from there so the reason why i call od a t0 carry is number one od is one of the most versatile carry in the game being a really good content pusher for your afk challenges he synergizes really well with some of the most broken artifact right namely starshot spell because what he does is he throws his skill poison the enemy insta kill pop and then he gets his energy back throw another skill pop and then he goes so i like to call it the pew pew pop right so this unit is actually really really powerful if you let him sit in the battlefield and do what he want and if you have no counter mechanism in your team to deal with his insta kill he's gonna start shooting your team down start wrecking up the base damage increase and then he's gonna rinse and repeat right you guys see the you guys see the thing shoots the ultimate right attack them increase the damage and then they pop with the insta kill ability you get your energy back right and you get increased in the uh the insta kill baseline and then he throws the ultimate again he do it again pump move on to the next target so it allows him to actually reach peak capacity really fast based on what he want to do and other than just being an excellent content pusher od like i mentioned earlier is also a really meta dream realm unit because this unit is actually one of the highest i think second primarily in terms of end game uh single target damage over time and this unit has one strength that merely doesn't have this unit stays still on the stays still on the spot so in terms of positioning i think od is actually more flexible because he doesn't move around although there are certain bosses where merely is better namely necro drake but the ability to actually you know predict where he's gonna stay where he's gonna go affects a little bit of your team building affects a little bit of your positioning so that's why od is really good in terms of dream realm right good damage easy to predict and then his kit is pretty straightforward throw ultimate and then just keep on shooting the target very very straightforward and then thirdly this unit is also insanely powerful in arena so the reason right the reason why torrent is and probably will be one of the most sim tank in arena in terms of the defensive setting is because he's the only thing that can answer to all this insta kill cycling because if you use units like granny yes granny is insanely good in terms of tanking but granny is actually weak to od yes you can use igor to tank but igor also pops to od's insta q yes you can use brutus as well but brutus pops to od insta q as well so pretty much inside the current pool of unit there's only one i'll say tank or frontline unit that can effectively deal with od's insta q without spending too much resources or effort to plan for and that is obviously torrent because even if OD do manage to bring torrent down um, it doesn't actually prop the energy recovery because the energy recovery condition is gains energy when a poison enemy is defeated so for torrent's case torrent passed away but he's not defeated so it doesn't charge the enemy for i mean doesn't charge the energy for OD to retrow the corrosive dart for the next charge up at the same time because the en poison enemy hero is not defeated right the limit is also not increased so the overall cycling and damage taking for ultimate is not as scary in the arena and that being said um to actually cause torrent to be the only like most used tank in the arena is crazy back then in the earlier days od actually had a higher damage over time which meant that he popped people earlier so this unit is uh pretty much one of the must have together with CCL in the older days. And if you guys have saw my MTash video earlier, I'll link up in the card above. 
right? So these units, they actually got nerfed and other units got better over time. So right now, I think OD is still in an amazing spot because he might not be the best defender in the arena, but he's definitely one of those attacker, right, that you need to plan for because he's very good. So people will build him up for content pushing. And he's also really good in the arena because if you, if you have a team that's weak to what he wants to do, right, basically he can just clean your whole team, even if the guy is probably understated compared to you. So when you do team building and positioning as well as, you know, like considering who to put in your team, you actually have to factor in OD because you guys will realize in the future that this unit is something that everybody will have and will run in the offensive section because he's just that good so very very versatile carry and lastly he has a bunch of synergies in labyrinth has a bunch of synergies in our dear battle jew as well because like i mentioned he is good with star shot spell so star shot spell is one of the best end game artifact and so being able to throw pop a unit throw again pop a unit and then throw another ultimate and pop another unit and then pop your star shot spell really fast is also an insane combo in the late game for battle jew so lastly arcane labyrinth right if you guys do not know arcane labyrinth has a bunch of modifiers based on the relic that you get so the insta popping ability affects the boss as well so one combo that you guys can do with od in terms of labyrinth combination is to go for the attack relic as well as od and then you'll see his attack stat skill really well really really high and then you will see his damage over time like number also increase this means that he can kill the enemy faster he can pop the enemy faster with the skill and then he can do what he want faster as well so that's just one combination like uh, of od and yeah od is just insane so i'm gonna clear my final stage of dark for us so we are done uh, we are going into the last chapter of this account which is remnants pick 100 percent for first three and we are at the final phase for my free to play account so i'm just going to clear this uh Ipophian over here right with od to just showcase to you guys uh, the power of this unit because this team setup right has a lot of a good i'll say like very difficult to deal with monsters or units and od is actually good against all of them so we have igor very very annoying if you don't have anything but luckily for me i have od with his ex weapon we also have the likes of seth which can be very hard to deal with if you draw out the battle for too long but nothing is too difficult against insta kill so without further ado let's start this battle showcase yeah, where one time i'll go manual all these ultimate because we need to bring down seth first i did a few experimentation and if you don't bring down seth seth just team roll over you okay uses the ultimate okay seth uses the ultimate kind of want to wait until seth come down before i throw my skill and x the skill first we're gonna throw the skill at seth can't allow seth to actually yeah okay so we, we done seth is down okay so usually usually ego will be very very difficult to deal with but i'm gonna do this Throw the ultimate at Igor and pop. Yeah, because he's, he's below the threshold. Okay, so now another one. Pop. Okay, nice. The last unit. Throw down the skill. And then we're gonna go. Pew! Look at the snake killing animation. But that's pretty much it for Odi. A very, very simple showcase of his ability. And I'm pretty sure with uh, my Odi finally with his EX weapon. We should be able to speed up our pace in order to reach afk challenge 1125 asap so right now we are at afk challenge 777 right uh start over here because these units are way too overpowered for me but as i continue to level my unit i'll probably push more and then do an account review i'll say in the 30 day mark hopefully i'll be done with the game by then and thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys